Right, folks, this is the reason why I bought Blue Van Man 2.0 back. So I can do little comments like this, and it doesn't really matter then, does it? It's not flooding the other channel. Now, um, West Brom, they've sacked uh, Slaven Billet, right? Uh, they've basically sacked him. There's nothing that there's no about. It. They've just what they've done, right? I'll read the I'll read the thing from uh, Sly Sports. Uh, his final game in charge was a one-one draw at Man City on Tuesday, which is good. Obviously, not as good as Leicester's five-two drumming, but you know, when all said and done, it's a good result. Um, West Brom are just nineteenth in the Premier League, picking up just one win in the first thirteen games following the pro, 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 from the promotion. Right. This is a thing. He got them into the Premier League, right? He got them into the Premier League. So he's got them up there, best of the best, right? On basically fuck all money. Um, and this is the this is the best bit. This is the best bit. Slaven Bilic has been sacked by West Brom with Sam, Abad Sam Allardyce verbally agreeing to replace the Croatian at the Hawthorns. So this was already in the this was already in the fucking makings. This were this was. This is like backhanded fucking stabbing in the back, kicking in the bollocks, right? So, and I'm, I like now, I like Sam Allardyce, right? I do like Sam Allardyce. I think for what his skills he's got, he's never really failed as a manager, has he? He's never, he's never, you know, with him you get what you see kind of thing. I'm from up north, I like what I like, and I say what I say, and I like what I like, and I eat. Pies, right? That's what he is. That's that's. There's no fucking dressing it up. There's no Sven Goran Eriksson walking around with the fucking glasses. Oh, he don't need glasses, does he, Sam? But anyway, he's not like that. He's a typical proper manager, uh, old-fashioned English manager, right? So what you see is what you get. And um, Albion, right? It says here on this continuing Sly Sports news. Uh, Albion would like to thank Slavan and his coaching staff for their efforts in achieving promotion last season and wishes them all the best for the future. Balls do you wish him the best. Balls do you. What you're wishing is that he hope you think, oh, we don't fucking take his court, so we have to pay a fortune out, you fucking twats. Uh, negotiations are ongoing. So they were already going anyway when Slavan did Man City for a point. Um, but Allardyce, 66, so he's got a big future in the game now, Sam at 60 fucking E6. Um, is understood to have uh, verbally agreed to become Billich's uh, successor ahead of the Sunday match against local rivals Aston Villa. It, it's, it's absolutely disgusting. But, but the thing that fucking winds me up right now, what winds me up is that not only did he get West Brom promoted, like promoted, this fucking West Brom owner, whoever he is, uh, Lad Lai Guchow, like like uh, Lao Gu Chai Chai, right? Chinese businessman, Chinese businessman, right? Um, he's a Chinese billionaire businessman and invest. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, with a majority shareholder of Premier League. Well, that ain't gonna fucking hang around now, is it? Uh, uh, he's uh, with Premier League West Bromwich Albion, right? He's worth two point eight billion, right? Two point eight billion. And he only spent something like 21 million or something, 22 million, right? Now, if he's an investor, right, if he's an investor, surely he would have put just a bit more money than 22 million pounds into stopping into a fucking league, right, that's going to create in God knows how, it's going to create in God knows how many millions anyway, right? So why has he only put 20 million? And why has he not made a fucking effort of it? And why has he not thought, right, well, if we go down next year, if we go down this season, at least we'll have the team as a, you know, and write all these contracts that if we get relegated, you don't get your foot. What the fucking hell is it? The, the, but these, these overseas lot, they come in and buy our fucking clubs and just ravish them, don't they? They just take what they can out of them and then like, just leave them in the shit. We at Leicester are very, very fortunate I won't say his name because it's too fucking long and I can't say it. But we are very, very fortunate to have those people at our club. And the, the, we just, you know what I mean? The, the, the new training complex that's just over there, right? My house, it's just over there. Fucking Seagrave, okay? It's there. It's, it's going to be one of the best in the world. Not the fucking country or Europe. It's going to be one of the best in the world. They have put a lot of money into this. They're on about expanding the ground at Leicester. 
It's absolutely unbelievable, these, invest these, these owners we've got here. And then you get people like this. You know, it don't matter if the Chinese, fucking Chinese, or fucking American, or Russian, or what. They come over, apart from uh, him at Chelsea, for his fucking name. He's put a lot of money in. But they come over, and they just fucking... I don't know. I don't know if they've seen, I don't know if they've seen the fairy tale of Leicester... Got nothing to do with the post. I can give you my opinion on the Pogues fairy tale in New York if you want it. Put a yay or a nay in the bottom. I just don't understand what the fuck is wrong with them. The the the, the family clubs, the heartbeats of communities. The, the, these clubs are heartbeats of that area. And these the owners just come in and take everything out of it. And to only put 20 million in 22 million into a fucking club that's trying to stay in the Premier League is a complete fucking joke. I do feel sorry for West Brom fans, right? But in a way, I hope they go down just to piss him off, right? He's 46, right? 46. I bet he doesn't even know what fucking football is, does he? I mean, look at him. He looks like he should have a fucking paper round. Unbelievable. And I do feel sorry for West Brom fans. Um, but I do hope you go down as a club just because of that. I I can understand that you want him out. Uh, the owners might probably think, right, well, I want you out because I want Sam Allardyce to have his own players in. But to sort it out before fucking Sam, right, to sort it out before you'd even sacked him, you could have at least, like, sacked him and then gave it a couple of weeks and then brought Sam in. That is just fucking backdoor fucking negotiations and it's wrong it is just completely wrong i'm fed up with football to be fair i'm absolutely fed up with it. we've got all these players demanding fucking thousands and thousands of pounds while everybody else in the world is struggling the tits off trying to fucking keep a job and keep a living and keep sane because of what all these shit governments are doing and then we're just and these footballers oh well we'll just i want hundred thousand pound a week I just want hundred thousand pound a week. So other guys coming in. I want to be manager, but yeah, you, 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 fuck off. Does my head in, <sighs> ladies.